Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is the 2024 AP Chemistry exam free response question number seven. This is the last question, the last four point question and the last question on this 2024 exam. And here is the solution guide. You can see a student conducts a chromatography experiment. It needs, he needs to prepare, he or she needs to prepare hundred mils of 0.34 molar of NaCl. So what are we going to do with molarity? We're going to multiply by liters. 0.340 molar times 0 0.100 liters, and that gives us 0 0.0340 moles of NaCl. Then we take those moles, we multiply by the molar mass that they gave of 58.44 grams per mole, and that means we need 1.99 grams of NaCl to make this solution. And so that's going to be a point for A. Then B says we're going to prepare this solution. Now remember, we had one99 nine nine grams of NaCl and we want to prepare this solution and this is what they have given us in the laboratory so what are we going to do obviously we're going to take that solid NaCl we're going to weigh it out we're going to put it in a volumetric flask we're going to fill it with a little bit of distilled water we're going to dissolve that sodium chloride we're going to fill it to fill it to the volume that calibration mark we're going to invert it we're going to mix it and we got our solution so that's exactly what they want to do for points two and three is you can see they gave us what step one was they weighed the NACL the 1.99 grams of NACL they weighed it on a weighing paper using the balance so what are we going to do with that solid we're going to put it in place that mass of that solid NACL in the 100.0 milliliter volumetric flask volumetric flask has one job in life that's the fill to 100.0 milliliters we fill with uh, just over about 50% of distilled water in order to dissolve it. Step three, we swirl it, we dissolve it. And then what are we gonna do in step four? We have to fill it to the calibration mark, fill it the volume using the pipette with the distilled water, very carefully. And then we just invert it and we make sure we mix it. So there's points two and three on this question number seven. The last point, it, they go, now to using this solution as a chromatography solvent. And you can see this NaCl solution is a polar solution. It's going to separate compound Y and X. Y is a little bit more polar than X. Y has gone about maybe 60% of the way, compound X about 40% of the way, which those are the RF values. And letter C, question C says, a student, con second student conducts the same chromatography, ex chromatography experiment but removes the paper from the chamber in only 15 minutes instead of 30. Well, in 30 minutes, you can see how high the solvent front got. In 15 minutes, the solvent front's not gonna get as high, which means compound Y and compound X are not gonna go as high on the paper. But the percentage is gonna be the same. You can see my first sentence, the percentage, the RF value of compounds X and Y will be the same with respect to the solvent front. But that's not what they were asking. They were asking to predict the effect, if any, this would have on the separation distance between compounds X and Y. Well, if compound X and Y don't go up as far, the solvent front won't be as high on the paper either with this lesser time. So the two compounds will have separated a lesser distance than the 30 minutes of separation. So it's gonna separate a lesser distance just because the solvent front just didn't move up that high. If the solvent front moves even higher, they separate out even more, keeping the same percentage of RF value. And that was a 2024 AP Chemistry exam. Check out MrRaden.com. Check out my YouTube channel. And I'll catch you on the flip side. See you guys. Bye.